Hi, I'm Dustin Fisher, Integrated Solutions Coordinator out of our Holdridge Support Center. Today I'm going to talk to you about Command Pro Operation Adjustments and Optimization. Today we'll talk about the operation of the Command Pro joystick. To initiate forward mo motion, pull back on the activate button and push the joystick forward. It'll initiate movement. To increase your speed, you can push on the joystick or hold down on the joystick and it'll increase it. To go to your set speed 1 or set speed 2, which is ever is enabled, pull the activation button and go into detent. To initiate rear movement, pull in on the activation button and pull the joystick towards you. No. To initiate rear movement with the Command Pro joystick, pull the activation button and pull it rearward. It'll initiate movement. To go faster, pull back on the hydro handle, pull back on the joystick until the speed is achieved. To go into set speed rear detent, to go into set speed reverse detent, pull the activation button and put the joystick into detent. To slow down from the reverse movement, push forward on the joystick without pushing the activation key and it'll slow you down. Or to stop immediately, go into forward detent. When moving in the forward direction to slow down, you have two options. You can pull back on the hydro handle. You can pull back on the joystick and it'll slow you down. Or to come to a complete stop, pull back into rear detent on the joystick and it'll stop you. You can also use the brake pedals to slow yourself down or stop the tractor instead of the joystick. If you press down on the brake pedal, it'll slow you down. If you let off of it, it'll come to a complete stop. To shuttle shift with the Command Pro joystick, after you've initiated forward or reverse motion, simply pull the activation button, pull the joystick towards you, and it'll shuttle shift in the opposite direction that you are traveling. If you're traveling in reverse and want to go forward again, simply pull the activation button, pull the joystick towards you, and it will move you back forward. The last feature of the Command Pro joystick is the inching mode. To activate inching mode, pull the activation button, pull the joystick towards you, and rearward and it will inch the tractor backward. This is used for hooking up to an implement. To stop simply let off the joystick and it will default to park. With the Command Pro joystick you can see that there's some extra buttons on the side for your thumb and up on your top for your fingers to reach. To set these buttons up or configure them for operation Hit Menu, Applications, Control Setup. You can see right now that um, our B button is not set to anything. Our A button is set for the three point. So if we push down on it, our three point arms will go down. And up brings the three point back up. We also see that our number 12 button right here is set up to engage the auto track. And your 10 and 11 buttons on the back will set your engine set speed 1. Or your engine set speed 2. If you push those again, it will disable your engine set speeds. If you want to adjust the controls or set a different function up for a button, simply click on that button 
and then choose either tractor or iTech. If I choose tractor, I'll choose my number two SCV, and then you can either um, have it extend or retract, or extend and go to float. So we'll have it here to extend and retract. Then if we want to set D up for number three, we'll click on it, click on the tractor, click on SCV3, click on for or extend and retract. You can see that soft key B and soft key D are not active. To activate those, click on activate custom. Now all the lights are green and all those buttons are available for use to extend, retract your SCV cylinders, move your hitch up and down, and set your max engine speed one, max engine speed two, and engage your auto track if you have your receiver and display installed and auto track enabled. This lock button right here, if you push it, the Command Pro joystick lock is engaged. This will not allow you to use any of the buttons on the Command Pro until you unlock it. To unlock it, you simply press down until the light goes away and the Command Pro joystick lock is disabled, pops up on the screen. Thank you for watching the Command Pro video today. If you have any additional questions, please contact your local Landmark Implement location.